Hey everybody, I'm Nico. And I'm Costa. And, and we, we are the Taco, Taco Bros. Bros. Okay, so Costa and I have been taking online private lessons with ID Tech, and we've learned how to Photoshop our faces onto any photo of our choice. And today, we're gonna teach it to you guys. So for this tutorial, we're gonna be putting our faces on two of our favorite Avengers. ID Spider-Man. And Hawkeye. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is choose your pictures and save them in a folder so that you can easily find them later. We suggest creating a folder on your desktop. Once you save your pictures to your desktop, open Photoshop. In Photoshop, go to the File menu at the top left and select Open. When you select Open, you will want to find your desktop folder with your pictures and select and open all three of them. Once you've done that, you're going to see three tabs in Photoshop, one for each photo. We're going to start off with my photo. We're going to want to select the main parts of my face using the lasso tool. You know, the tool that kind of looks like a lasso. We suggest that you use the lasso tool to outline the areas right above the eyebrows and under your mouth. Like so. Okay, after you've done that, you're gonna wanna click Control C, which copies it, go to the tab with the Avengers, and click Control V to paste the face into the Avengers picture. After you've pasted the face selection into the Avengers picture, you'll see that the face will appear as a new layer above your original layer, which is the Avengers picture. Right now, we're going to be placing Nico's face on Spider-Man's. So we are going to move the face image on top of Spider-Man's face and adjust the size so that it matches the size of Spider-Man's face. Okay, you might be wondering, Nico and Costa, how do we get the face to be perfectly aligned with Spider-Man's face? Well, that's where the opacity tool comes in. If you go right here to opacity, and you can lower the opacity to whatever number you want. I suggest lowering it to about 30. So you can kind of see your face and you can clearly see Spider-Man's face. You're going to want to go back to select tool so that you can apply the transformation. Then you're going to want to align your eyes with Spider-Man's eyes, your mouth with Spider-Man's mouth, and your nose with Spider-Man's nose. So now we can resize it all we want to get the perfect size and the perfect height. Okay, since we're adjusting the face, technically we're also transforming the face. So once we're done transforming the face, we're gonna wanna select the tool, any other tool. I'm just gonna wanna select the select tool again. Now we're gonna click apply so we can apply the transformation and we can turn the opacity all the way back up to 100 again. Okay, now you're gonna wanna press the, now you're gonna wanna make sure no layers are selected. So click on the bottom gray area under both of your layers and then you're gonna wanna hit cold ground control so you can click the image right next to your layer one. Once you click that, you're gonna see this gray dotted line around around your face. Once you see the dotted line around your face, you want to go to the select menu at the top and choose modify, and you'll see multiple options. You want to choose contract. You want to modify the contract at five pixels. You might see an option to apply effect at canvas bounds. You can ignore that option and don't check that box. After, press okay. Okay, now we're gonna wanna unlock the background layer. Once we've unlocked the background layer, we're gonna wanna hit backspace or delete. The button depends on whether you have a PC or a Mac. Mac usually have a delete button and PCs usually have a backspace button. You don't wanna choose the small delete button because that's sometimes on computer keyboards. That's just gonna mess you up. You'll see that once we've unlocked the background layer, if we hide the face layer, we've deleted a piece of Spider-Man's face. The piece of Spider-Man's face that we deleted is the same size as our face. Now, you want to make sure that none of your layers are selected. Quick tip, we like to select any tool and double click in the black canvas area of Photoshop to make sure that no layers are selected. And then, you want to select both layers. You can do this by pressing shift and selecting each layer. 
Okay, once you've done this, you're gonna wanna go to edit and you're gonna wanna click auto blend layers. Once you do that, you're gonna see a pop-up window with lots of different options. You're just gonna wanna make sure that panorama and the bottom two check boxes are checked. Then you're gonna wanna click okay and voila! I am now Spider-Man. And now we're gonna turn Costa into Hawkeye. And voila, now I'm Hawkeye. Okay, everyone, that's how you Photoshop your face onto any photo of your choice. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.